Jacksonville, Florida right now, working on a little cute Miata with a not so little cute engine, uh, my buddy car, and you're gonna get dizzy here. And Mike invited me over here to build a couple uh, nifty little things. So this is the header flange. You might know what we're looking at right here. And this is a massive tire. This is a 275, 275, 35, 15 on a Miata, which is ridiculous. And some big old Willwood brakes and some kind of engine up there. I'm not really sure what it is, but I'll show you. So right here, can anybody guess what engine this is? Because if you can't, then unsubscribe. <laughs> this is a Dodge Hellcat engine. Oh, I just, I just stepped on your cowboy boot, sir. Oh, what's up? Who are you? I'm, I'm James. Oh, nice to meet you, Ple sir. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. I don't know who that is. Uh, anyways, yeah, this is a 6.2 liter, 707 horsepower, stupid V8 in a little tiny Miata. So, they called me in here to make some headers, which I already made one, and I didn't film anything, but this guy filmed some stuff, so go subscribe to his YouTube channel. I'll tag his thing in the uh, bio down low. And uh, yeah, so we built this one, and I will show you how we're building this one over here. This one's not gonna be as tight. This one, we've done some modifications, which I'll show you, and it's, it's a really tight fit. And then we're gonna dump it out right here with a collector. We got a collector right here. And it's basically gonna be like that out the bumper. You know, just gonna duct tape that there, I think, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll weld it, who knows. All right, here's the progress we got on the driver's side header currently. Uh, basically I go from here and then I work my way towards the collector like that with all the squiggly stuff. Oh, and while we're down here, I can show you the little modification we did. So right here is where the oil cooler filter, this guy goes. Um, and these lines used to be coming out this direction and that wasn't gonna work. Uh, it would have been way too tight to fit the headers. So we ground down these two tabs right here and we still have these two and then it let us rotate and now we can mount this thing like that. And the alternator goes there, we got clearance on that. And then we got plenty of clearance over here, pretty much just the steering shaft is the issue. Um, well, that's no big deal. We got plenty of room to work with. Like, you know, plenty, plenty. <laughs> we, we could barely, we could have squeezed an exhaust out here, but not really here very well. It would have been tough. Frick that. And then I'll show you some of their other work. We got a bunch of V8 Roadster parts. Uh, V8 Roadster Ford 8.8 .8 with some big ass axles. BC Racing Coilovers, I believe. BC? Yeah, they're actually making the same uh, communist place. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, they're, so, they're, they're, they're supposedly made at the same factory. <laughs> they, and, look, uh, they look like BCs, so. The yeah, V8 Roadster, he inspects his old ones out, and he said they're made at the same place. Okay, they look, so. They do look like them. <laughs> okay, so fake BC r Racing Coilovers. <laughs> Reps. You're really running a fuck, a non-vented rear rotor? Woo. <laughs> 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 Woo. Risky boy, but some Willwood four pistons and Willwood six pistons or fours? Four, yeah. Oh, four pistons all the way around. No. Oh, well, it's light. It's a lightweight car besides a big heavy thing there. More V8 Roadster stuff and a cool little header I built. This thing's sweet. It's four. Old. It's four a.m. I guess we can call it a night. Yeah. He's he's <laughs> tired. So. He's tired, so I guess we'll go to sleep. Yeah, I'm on a good schedule. All right, so I'm like, on a good schedule now. One of these fit it up here. We'll get some other ones fit it up. See, I don't even need to talk. I'll just tomorrow. film him filming, and then yeah. <laughs> look at that. You got dual vlogging going on over here. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, yeah, basically. Where's your dad? Oh, we got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, this one is halfway, halfway done, and this one's about halfway done. And that, this side just needs welded. The other side just needs the end pieces, but the top pieces are good. And I'm starting to feel a little tired, so I, I gave them permission to let us leave. Is that okay? <laughs> I, I, think, I think we should have all three been filming at the same time. <laughs> so I, I don't know what to do with it. Do we just sit on the shelf for eternity? Or yeah. Can we open you can this? open it now. You can open are you, it are now. Are you sure? Yeah. Right. There's more special instructions inside. Uh, There's more special instructions? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> It's like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, Seriously? I was, <laughs> I was assuming you guys would get it before I got here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I just, yeah, I didn't want him to open it. Is there another one? No, nope, no, nope, okay. just two. Oh wow! Check These them out, are so cool. I separated them with a piece of paper. So oh, hold on, it's dude, two, it's two sick. piece. Hold on. Oh my god, dude, this is so, sick. So what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is with the exhaust like right. That's crazy. I think it would be pretty dope. Very cool. You have outdone yourself again. <laughs> that is, Thank you. That is awesome. Yeah, and then there's two of those, two sets of each. Hell yeah. Very cool. So here's the driver's side header all tacked up and I started welding it. I uh, got the back purging set up. I think I've showed you that stuff before. Uh, we had to buy a different torch and a different torch power cable and got this ghetto stuff going on. Uh, I brought my number 12 cups from home with the gas lens. Uh, brought some stuff from Colorado. We're welding it up gonna cut some of these guys out probably just these two runners so I can get the weld all the way around there and all the way around there um, and then once once those are welded up then we'll put them back together and weld those weld everything else up all right update I found nutter butters he's working on the uh, flexible dipstick tube I got that header done and it's oh god i dropped another butter mm. yeah whatever uh yeah i got one of the headers done v-band flange on it and i'm just gonna weld like some length length of exhaust so they can cut it down the other header is where's the other header oh there it is okay uh that one's like three quarters of the way done All right, day three, the final day. Number one is done. The exhaust is gonna get cut down right about there, match up with the bumper. Unless, unless he wants to leave it sticking out, I think, I think that'd be cool. Right now I'm working on this, so I need to cut these down to length. Uh, there's a little star that goes in the middle and then weld the collector on. And it is good, got that all welded up. Got this all welded up. And then you can see, see if you can see in there. That's a, that's the effect of back purging is, you know, a decent looking weld on the inside. That's not a, that's not totally perfect right there, but it's definitely good enough, especially for an exhaust pipe rather than a header pipe. And this, I was just, I just set that down there and chucked that in there and you know, called it a day with the gas on. So, almost there. Then I'm heading to Melbourne. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Life OD. Uh, on today's episode, we're gonna be spray painting this panel. Uh, so stay tuned for the next 10 minutes of us spray painting this panel. And uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and- uh, Enter our uh, raffle. Enter our giveaway. We're gonna give away this sweet green Mustang right here. So, yeah. All right, as you can see, he's spray painting it still. Uh, we're using Custom. we're using really high end spray paint because you know this is actually top of the line. Pretty good spray paint. Yeah, that actually is pretty good. 
Thanks for watching, guys. So everything is all welded up. Um, unfortunately, I did get a little bit of warpage here um, on this flange mostly, but also a little bit of warpage on that flange. Um, and it's for two reasons. Uh, one is I didn't really have a solid surface to weld on. Um, so even though it was clamped to this surface, this AC condenser and this table were probably both just buckling. Um, and then also I was just hauling ass trying to weld as much as I can, as fast as I can, because I was in a time crunch. But they're gonna get that, uh, that one deck down, probably maybe this one too while they're at it. Yeah, let me and talk to your people up. for a second. Huh? Let me I'll talk let to your people. I'll take it. Oh, how are you? Are you doing it like this here? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't doing a selfie. Yep. You're in this way? Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh. Forward camera. You can, Forward? You can, no, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. My bad. So, d don't let Matt talk too much. He, he did a great job. Like, these things are awesome. Like, these things are sick. They, they really are. So, he does good work. And fast. So, and we needed both. <laughs> I promise you I will not do your headers this fast. Don't be fooled. <laughs> I'm not as fast as this video portrays because it's been, I got here like at the, I got to this shop about exactly two days ago. So it took me about exactly two days from start to finish, including, including the welding stuff that we needed, the supplies that we needed. And I had three tools, it was tough. Right, we're coming down. Exhausts are just kind of barely bolted in place with no gaskets, just like they should be. And something's gonna happen, hopefully. Get your hard hats on. You ready? Yeah, we live. Yeah, so, here, pick that thing up here that neutral or something. Can it see me in the car or what? Yeah, it can see, yeah, yeah, it can see okay, you. Cool. So, the alternator's not on, we don't have coolant in the car, but, and what else? Uh, alternator's not on, coolant's not in the car, we don't have the auxiliary pump hooked up right now, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like a test start since we got like the car wired up. So, yeah. It'll do something. Yeah, and plus we wanna hear what these sound like, and Matt needs to hear these before he leaves because that's just not fair, <laughs> you know, so. Thank you. Oh God, I'm scared. Be scared. I'm gonna fry a couple times. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> this thing's gonna be so loud. RIP headphone users. How many PSI that regular got? Uh, it's like maxed out wherever. Okay, it's at 80? It's at 80. Oh, okay, sweet. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Y'all okay. ready? Uh, I guess so. Uh, oh, oh, AN lines. lines. Fuck, oh my god. Damn it. We just can't do anything right. We're inexperienced. Don't get in a hurry. Have some patience. But that's good enough for me, and that's pretty fucking sick. Well, that's it. Made it back to the shop. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. This headers are pretty sweet, and I'm dead. You can kind of tell my voice is a little stuffy. Uh, I have a headache, and I've had a headache for a couple days now since I've been back. Uh, but now I'm going to work on this thing, the LS-powered Ranger. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for some updates on this.